Right, today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to sharpen eyes. All right? If you see the image in front of you, you can see that all those eyes are in focus. They lack in detail. Okay, So what we're going to do is we're going to bring that detail back into the eyes, just like that. Okay, And I'm going to show you how to do that, how to bring out that clarity and detail in your subject's eyes. Okay, So let's get rid of that and let's start again. Okay, so this is a subject, okay, a beautiful headshot, okay, and the first thing I am going to do, okay, is duplicate my background layer, all right, so command, or con control or command J, control and J if you're on a Windows machine, command and J if you're on a Mac, okay, and then we have this duplicate layer. Once we've got that duplicate layer, we're going to go up to filter, sharpen, smart sharpen. Okay, now this is quite a big file, so it might take quite a while. We're going to click in this window and we're going to pretty much just drag over to the eye so we can see what's what. Now I did this earlier for a client, so these, these amounts and this radius and the noise reduction that you see on the screen in front of you, that's specific to the, this image. That's been set up and it's been done for this image. There is no one size fits all when it comes to the amount of sharpening or the size of the radius that you need. It's all going to be down to each individual image. Okay, so what you need to do is adjust that amount and adjust the radius and the noise so that you are happy with it, so that you get a really nice sharp image without introducing too much noise. Okay, so I've got mine. So I'm going to click OK. Now this is going to take a while. This is a, a raw file. It's quite a big raw file as well, so it might take a while to sharpen, as may yours as well. So don't be a little bit concerned if it's taking a while. As long as that blue bar is going up, you know that it's actually processing the filter. Now, when this comes on, you're going to see a problem. You might not see a problem, but it will be a problem. This filter, this Smart Sharpen, is going to be applied to the whole of the image. Absolutely everything. This eyes, brilliant. The lips, the skin, the hair, the clothing. Every single tiny little pore on the skin is going to be sharpened. And, and I, oh, I, no, that's not what we need. Okay? So, as with all filters, okay? We can add a layer mask, all right, and I'll show you how to do that. So, all right, this layer has now been sharpened. As you can see, if I turn that on and off, you can see the eyes are lovely and sharp. The only problem is, as is the skin and all the pores and everything else. Okay, so I'm going to click right down here, and I'm going to add a layer mask to that layer, just like that. Okay, now that layer is white at the minute, which means the effect's been shown. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill that layer with black. Okay. Now, if I press Alt and Backspace, and then select black, there we go. Okay, a black layer mask. Now, that effect is gone, pretty much. If I turn that layer on off, nothing's happening. However, that layer, layer 1, still is sharpened. It's just we've got this black layer mask hiding it all. So what we need to do now is if I zoom into 100% so you can see what's what, I'm going to grab a brush, I'm going to grab a white brush, and I'm literally going to paint in on my layer mask the area that I want to be sharpened, which in this case is the eyes. Okay, so I'm just going to paint in around here. We'll go over to the other one. In. There we go. Super. Just like that. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to reduce my flow down to about 30%. And I'm just going to paint just on these eyelashes. Just a little bit. Okay. Don't need a lot. Alright. That's why I've reduced the flow of my brush down to 30%. I'm just going to 
Get a little bit of detail back in here. Okay, so we've got those nice and sharp. And if I zoom out, let's zoom out to about there. If I turn that on and off, you can see now that layer is only sharpening the actual eyes of our subject, which is just what we want. So there you have it. How to actually sharpen your subject's eyes. So we duplicate the layer. We add a filter to that. We go up to filter. We go to sharpen. Or we go to smart sharpen. You are then going to need to adjust the controls of your smart sharpen to something that suits your image. To something that gives you the best details of your subject's eyes. Okay, you're then going to click OK. And when that's done that, you're then going to add a layer mask to your duplicate layer. Okay, you're going to fill that layer mask with black so that all the effects are hidden. And then you are going to paint in with a white paintbrush the effect to the parts of the eyes. And that's it. How do we sharpen eyes? Just like that. Simple. Job done.